Khabib Nurmagomedov passed on the torch to his protege and Islam has not disappointed both his teams and fans. Islam Makachev is a Russian professional mixed martial artist and Sambo competitor. In addition to being a training partner for Khabib, he also trains out of the same AKA gym that has top alumni including Daniel Cormier and Cain Velasquez. Many expect him to be the next lightweight champion. Being the dominant mauler in the UFC isn't an easy task, and it's harder even with a name like Khabib backing you. However, Islam has been dominant in the UFC and he's shown that he can compete with the best fighters in the division. With that competitiveness is a lifestyle and fame that many fighters would be jealous of. Of course, it takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice to get to where he is now. In this video, we'll go through Islam Makachev's lifestyle, experiences, and net worth. Make sure to stay tuned till the end and like the video. Now let's get started. Number 1. Fighting Lifestyle It is not easy being the best and this only gets harder as a fighter continues to train and sacrifice. In Islam's case, he started training in the United States at the age of 24 in 2014 and was with the American Kickboxing Academy. Here, he would follow down the path similar to that of Khabib, where his background in wrestling sambo would be strengthened with a solid stand-up game. DC has even said that Islam has a better stand-up game than Khabib, giving MMA fans something to be excited about. They envision an elite fighter who can dominate opponents either on the ground or in the stand-up game. In this lifestyle video, there's not much that Islam did outside of working out in the gym and trying to learn a new language. However, he was able to do some exploring and enjoys being outside quite a bit as well. Throughout this journey, he's smiling through the sweat and pain, showing the grit and determination he has to continue on. Check out some of these training highlights and funny clips. What are you doing this Chicken soup coach. Chicken soup? Looks like ice cream. This one? Yeah. This one diet ice cream. Diet ice cream? So it's yogurt? Yes. Okay. This diet ice cream, but not for fat guy coach. No, not for me. Like him? Come out. Come out. Not for you. For you, it's okay. Okay. Is it okay for you? Okay. Yeah. What about you? So here, is it good for you? No. Yeah. Not good for him. Not good for him. No. <laughs> what? I almost kill you. What do you mean I almost kill you? But coach, training hard, fight easy. Fight easy? Yes, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Did you quit on me today? I didn't. You didn't quit on me, though, right? Never. Hey, you never kill Habib like this. Yeah. I kill me all the time. <laughs> I kill Habib too. Like your all the time. You want to see me kill Habib? Pressure him like me. Okay. You hear that, Habib? I'm gonna torture you next time. Cause Islam says I have to torture you I'm like I just did video. him. You want to make video? Okay. Work his legs and elbow and knee. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll do that. Bye. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Good job. Within these clips, you can see how hard the lifestyle is for an elite fighter. But there's joy and brotherhood at the end of the tunnel. And with this type of lifestyle, you can go much further than most other fighters. Number 2. Sambo Champion Prior to taking up mixed martial arts, Islam Makachev was a Sambo Champion. This is a combat sport that was designed and developed from the Russian military. It allows for striking as well as grappling and submissions. If you're thinking this sounds like MMA, then you're right on. Sambo requires a lot of the same techniques and there's even variations in this sport that focuses on wrestling and controlling opponents. Islam grew up on this sport and it shows it in his dominance, especially with taking opponents down and controlling them. He won a gold medal in the 2016 World Combat Sambo Championship and scored a 7-0 in his final match. His mastery in Sambo has translated well over to the UFC as he continues to go on an incredible win streak. Number 3. Dominant UFC Win Streak In the UFC, Islam has fought a total of 9 times and only lost once in 2015. It was a clear learning experience for the young fighter that anything can happen inside the octagon. Matching up against elite athletes, he'll be continuously challenged to develop his skills. After his loss to Adriano Martins, Islam would go on a 7-win streak and have dominant performances over fighters such as Davy Ramos and Drew Dober. 
many analysts and fighters in the sport have publicly voiced their opinion about other fighters in the division ducking Islam. This shows how talented this elite fighter is. If a fighter is unwilling to match up against you, it's probably because they know it won't be an easy fight. Here's Joe Rogan and Derek Lewis on his most recent fight and dominance. And I was oh, like, Islam Makachev? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> and yeah. I was like wondering like if a guy would hold me down like that, like the whole fight won't be able to do anything, what would I do? That dude's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Islam's he's he's for real. That that grappling is serious. Cause that kid Drew Dober is very good. Mm -hmm. For him to handle Drew Dober that way, I was yeah. super impressed. Yeah. Number four, net worth. So how much is this fighter worth? According to the fight purses, he's earned a total of $500,000 over the course of his contract fights in the UFC. In his fight against Drew Dober, Islam earned over $105,000. Although this doesn't seem like much compared to the titans of Khabib and Conor McGregor, Islam is still making a name for himself in the UFC. He still has a lot of years left as he's only hitting his prime now. Once he becomes a champion, he'll likely be earning millions of dollars per fight. MMA fans have their eyes set out for this fighter and think he could achieve the same type of stardom as Khabib. Perhaps Islam will take over Khabib's place in a fight against Conor McGregor. Some even think that he is better and will be even more dominant than Khabib once he gets UFC gold. So what are your thoughts on this fighter? He's certainly with the right people in his corner to be the best lightweight in the world. But does he have what it takes? And what are your thoughts on Khabib saying that he'll be the next lightweight champion by the end of the year? MMA fans are also thinking about all the possible matchups that Khabib never got to. These include fights such as Islam vs Ferguson, or Michael Chandler, or even the current champion Charles Oliveira. Let us know your answers to these questions in the comments below. Yeah, that's cool, bro. It's okay, just relax. Do you like this? Pretty good, huh? Do you like the fish? You want one more piece? Thanks for tuning in and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. We'll also be doing some giveaways shortly, so make sure to keep your notifications open when those come in. Have a great day and we'll see you next time on Knockout TV.